Okay guys, so I'm inside of a Walmart. I'm trying to record before anybody come on this aisle, but I want to show you guys on different aisles products that have contamination in it that could possibly unalive us. Okay, we're being buried alive by the things that we are eating. Other countries have banned these products from their country, but yet the United States has approved them. So let's walk through the store and see what we can find. I'm going to be multitasking as I do this video. Yes, I want to show you, you know, the bioengineered um, label that's on a lot of products in here that you wouldn't think they would be on, even things that are supposed to be healthy for you. Um, but I'm also going to be scanning these shelves to see how empty they are. But you see it right here. And a lot of us are going to think, yeah, I'm eating something that's supposed to be healthy, but you obviously don't realize what they're doing to the products and what they're putting in it. What's in a bioengineered cereal? I have absolutely no idea, but all of these cereals that I'm showing you have this on here and a few products that aren't cereal as well. And I know it's going to be people saying you shouldn't be eating this stuff anyway. And I don't eat this stuff all the time. But when you want something, you want it. Um, but just know it, it has some kind of bioengineered ingredients within it. So I decided to go over to the pizza section. Well, let's see if these pizzas have any bioengineered ingredients in it. And yes, they do. Now outside of this contains bioengineered food ingredient label here. Look at all these ingredients that are in this pizza. Even our top ramen and our noodles right here have the bioengineered ingredients within it. Don't use the packets when you're using these um, noodles. Just use you some other kind of flavoring or seasonings because it's too much salt in it. Now the next products don't have bioengineered ingredients in it, but it does have this ingredient in it. And this ingredient that I just showed you is used for conjunctivitis, fungus, etc. of the eye and is in our food as a preservative. Right here you see the netomycin in it and it also shows you exactly what it's for is written on there. Mold inhibitor. It also was not just in the great value um, packages, it was in the name brand packages as well. So instead of buying the shredded cheese, no matter what kind it is, go over here, pick up a block of cheese, which you see the ingredients here, does not have any of that stuff in it. Take it home, shred it up by hand, or use your um, blender to shred it up. But buying this stuff right here, with that natamycin in it, it's an eye infection liquid. I also want to show you the egg section over here, what it was looking like and the fact that the egg prices are still going up. 
I did check the orange juice and the other juices. I did not see any bioengineered ingredients in or on the packaging, but note that some states are not required to show this on every single product. Majority of the stuff in her cart is bioengineered. So it's the next day and I'm out running errands and I am doing chores around the house and stuff like that and so I was just thinking as I'm sitting here editing this video am I telling you to stop buying things that have that are bioengineered that's not for me to say that is for you to decide I'm just bringing you information as I see it and as I get it there won't be much that you can purchase that is not bioengineered made in a lab i didn't even get over to the section with the you know meat patties and stuff that are not made of meat in my opinion when you're buying stuff like that it should just have one ingredient if i'm buying a burger it should just be one ingredient um but that's not always the case so I'm just giving you a little bit of info. What you do with it is up to you. Um, Y'all, I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what you think down in the comments, though. And don't forget to hit the like button. Share the video out. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Bites TV Homestead. One of the best things you can do for your family is to start a garden, get your seeds, figure out what you're going to grow, where you're going to grow it, how you're going to grow it, and get busy doing that. You don't have to have a garden bed. You can use buckets like you see the white buckets right there. Just do something because relying on someone else is giving them control.
you know 